Tonight, the Missouri Highway Patrol and the St. Louis County Police have been put in charge of security for demonstrations expected in Ferguson tonight. This follows the shooting of two officers, one from the county, the other a nearby village, as they were helping Ferguson police during a protest last night. Dean Reynolds is in Ferguson for us this evening. Dean? Scott, you can see behind me here they have brought in concrete barricades at the Ferguson police headquarters and demonstrators do plan to be back here tonight despite the shooting that has once again set this town on edge. Heavily armed tactical police converged on a house near the Ferguson police headquarters today while other detectives fanned out across adjacent streets in an urgent search for evidence that could lead them to a shooter still at large. We're going to try to do as much as we can until we find something. The dragnet started about midnight, right after a small demonstration was interrupted by the crackle of gunfire. <laughs> One officer was shot in the shoulder, a second in the face. <laughs> Both are recovering from what St. Louis County Police Chief John Belmar called an ambush. By God's grace, we didn't lose two officers last night. We could have buried two police officers next week over this. The family of Michael Brown, the teenager whose death at the hand of a white cop set off months of protests here, condemned this escalation of violence. And in Washington, Attorney General Eric Holder was blunt. This was not someone trying to bring healing to Ferguson. Uh, this was this was a damn punk. Everybody down on the ground, I heard a police got shot. The gunfire came just hours after Ferguson Police Chief Tom Jackson quit. The latest in a series of official departures following a Justice Department report that criticized the city for racial bias. Victoria Salzman, who lives seven doors from the shooting scene, was interviewed by police, and she wondered why there was a demonstration at all, much less a shooting. No, I don't know what you're protesting because people are stepping down, and we're trying to move forward as a city and, and do what is right and, and find out what is really wrong, and it seems like people want to block that. Pastor Michael Robinson, who was with the protesters, said whoever pulled the trigger was trying to stop Ferguson's racial reconciliation and deepen its divide. How big a setback would you say an incident like this is to that process? I believe it was a setback because it was a setup. Action is being taken. Now all of a sudden we want to shoot someone? That's absolutely absurd. Now, at one of the houses that was searched by the police, three people were removed in handcuffs, but no charges have been filed yet. President Obama took to Twitter today to say violence against police is unacceptable. Our prayers are with the officers in Missouri. Path to justice, he said, is one all of us must travel. Now, Scott, the police last night did not fire back, but officials tell us that in similar circumstances, they may not be able to show restraint in the future. And both officers, we understand, have been released from the hospital. Dean, thanks very much.